Hey everyone, it's Demo here. Welcome to my new video. Today I'm going to tell you a little bit about seven string guitars. I've talked about them a little bit before, and now I thought to tell even even more because I think this this is still like a topic that I I find that it's really important to me because I've been using seven string guitars since the beginning of 2013 and it has been my main tool to use when it comes down to songwriting and you know all that good stuff so um this is more like um a guide to give you like when it comes down to deciding whether you should use seven string guitars you need to use them um there's no excuses with that i'm just kidding but anyways um like which way to go because i think there are two ways to go when it comes down to starting with with the seven string and um, i'm going to tell you how i used and then the other route which to go but i don't say one way is better than other uh, i think there are some benefits with both so um yeah let's take a look at them so when it comes down to my my path um of, of starting using seven string guitars um I had the guitar in standard, in B standard for like, I think, a few weeks. And after that, I switched the tuning to drop A tuning. Once I switched to that tuning, I, I found out that it was actually a lot easier to play with this, this um, drop tuning. Because still, everything from the E to high E worked the exactly same way. So, um... Because of that, I didn't have to worry about the scales or or chords that much. And let me just explain a little bit more, like why, you know, I, I said that. So once I'm having the drop A tuning, we're having the octave here. And then because of that, the tuning works kind of the same way as the drop D tuning with the six strings guitar. So technically, I can use the drop, uh, uh, the power chord things going on here. But then I can also um, approach chords with this. I can use, like in that intro, chords like the same um, A. A string based um, bar chords. And then I just kind of use the whole whole uh, bar here on a, all the strings. But the same thing can also be applied to, uh, I don't know, jazz music. I learned to uh, use this guitar in a way like George Van Epps was probably one of the first seven string guitarists. So you can use the like the nine chords and you know all these other voicings. So you can also move the bass note here quite easily. But other than that, I think it's more like a um, tool for using with harmony. So and riff writing as well. So basically, that is a really cool tool to use because, like, you can use um, riffs here on an A string, and then if you feel like doing something cool, you can just move it to another A string. So yeah, that's probably why I thought it's a lot easier to switch to this tuning. And, you know, you can do the, I don't know, drop, drop based things, which is, I think it's a lot easier to start riff writing with that as well. So, um, that was the benefit. Not, not necessarily like the, the scale approach here, because, um, it's, it's a little bit trickier to get started with that. When it comes down to B standard, I think it's a little bit harder to use with chords especially if you want to play like huge chords like in the drop A tuning. So you can still use some power chords here that looks the same way as we use in the standard tuning. But if you feel like um, using this more like for, 
For riff writing, it works really well because in the key of B, so. When it comes down to mostly playing riffs and, um, and also like a scalar melodies or something like that, I think it's a little bit easier to play with this tuning as well. Because let's say we want to play something in the key of E. Um, we can just, you know, use the knowledge we know so far. So on the fifth fret of B string, we have E. And then the same happens here on the lowest E string, B string as well. So, so the scales work in the first octave the same way as in the between here, here on the a, E, and the D string, so basically like the major scale looks like this. Then you probably have to switch to different position. Or, you know, you can also use this uh, information for, for building riffs as well. So you can play a lot more in the same position when it comes down to riffs and melodies. So that's like the advantage here. And if you're not into playing huge chords, then I'd say the B standard is, is the way to go. Then the other thing that I just recently discovered once I bought this PRS um, SE Mark Hall Com S VN7 string guitar uh, is the scale length. Um, if you want to use it in standard tuning, um, I think 26 and a half inch scale, there's plenty of tension there. And um, uh, so you have to consider the fact that once the, um, once the scale length is longer, then, you know, playing wider things here on the lower part of the neck in the first frets here is is going to be a little bit more stretch here but if you are like me and having quite small hands you can use the uh, something like 25 and a half inch scale guitar as an example but you know that's a little bit of preference here because like of course you can always use thicker guitar strings and you know i think that's one way to go as well just something to consider as well. So that's it for now. Please let me know in the comments if there was some new information of, or what you thought about this video and hit thumbs up because that helps a lot as well. And if you haven't subscribed yet, well, you can fix that problem and subscribe my channel for more content like this. Um, thanks a lot for watching and hopefully see you on the next one. Goodbye.